Greetings, 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 family and community. I'm coming in very quickly with my serious professional look. Let me tell you, I am so glad that um, a friend came to visit and I went online and got a pack of 10 of my readers and she brought them to me because when I opened up my other pair, which I wore on Sunday, I saw that it was broken. I didn't have to stress out or run to the store and try to find some crazy glue. Let's get started about truth. The truth is, when you come to Africa, you got to be prepared. It's not going to be easy just to get to the store and get the things that you need. Okay? So today we're talking about truth, one of the principles of Ma'at on the mat. And I promise I was going to get to the seven principles and how to relate to the Bible and the Quran. So the Quran says, and confound not truth with falsehood, nor hide the truth knowingly. And in the uh, Holy Bible, in Exodus 20, 16, it says, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. It also states here, this principle includes all forms of lying. The ninth commandment has its roots in integrity and honesty. When we walk and practice truthfulness, we are better able to communicate and, of course, trust each other and get a common goal completed. So in my last post, I talk about unity in Africa, and it has to, it, it regards um, unity of mind and spirit, and so that there is an understanding, because there's been chatter in the past, and still going on, about there being a separation for whatever reason, and so the question is, how do we bridge the gap so that when others come and we have to navigate on the streets, we know and can learn from each other. And so I hope this is not jibber jabber. Bear with me. I did not want to write anything down. This is not a, a, a lesson. I didn't want to break out pen and paper. I'm just sharing with you what I'm seeing, what I'm learning, and honesty. And what will happen is you're constantly going to have to remind yourself that this is the road that I'm going to take. That's the, that's the challenging part. That's how we start to change ourselves on the inside. And it's painful. They say that the truth hurts. But the truth is not supposed to keep you from change. It's supposed to help you open your eyes, examine yourself, and then go about the process of becoming the best person that you can be. And when we all do that as a large group, we have unity and we have community. I hope that makes sense. I'm wrapping it up. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Peace and love.